Welcome back to Wrestling Empire Forever. I am your host, Attack Slug. I am Mr. Money in the Bank. And I got some advice from the comment section. So shout out to the Kip Club who says, If I go into free roam and wait backstage and the champion, the Kingo, is in a match, then walk in and that should hopefully trigger the cash in. We're going to find out. But that does require the match to be happening. So, all right, what happens behind the scenes here? Triple H, uh, take responsibility. Uh, so, get through the... I know how this game works. Game. I know the game, game. And yes, Amber is what I want. I want the sign to say Vikingo and then walk through with my briefcase and cash in. That's the plan. But the world is full of distractions. Ain't that something? Bro, why is Meyer so up in my business? I get it. You and Grimm are a thing, but chill, right? Chill. I just want to see what the sign says. Game, stop talking. Oh my god. What does the sign say? Card. There's the champion, the Kingo. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. But Triple H is standing right there. But it's so tempting. Just move, Triple H. I want to just take him in the back with this brief... Myers, Myers, no. Nah. Vikingo, me and you, me and you. Bro. This is what I want. Your championship. Go behind the curtain and have a match. And then I'll hop in there with this briefcase and cash in on you. All right. Conference is started. I don't want a conference. I want a match. And it doesn't say who's in the conference. So that means we're just going to skip here and head to fight Giovanni Vinci. That didn't work, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to try again. So that cost me some health. And uh, again, the match has to start. Not a conference, not a backstage interaction. A match between the champion and whoever's challenging him. And then I must attempt the heist of the century with my briefcase. That's the plan. Will it work? Who knows? On a fine Friday, Imperium heading to the ring. Gunta Ludwig and Giovanni Vinci. But yes, it is a fine Friday. Tomorrow is AEW full gear on a pay-per-view. And honestly, that card is kind of... Whatever. It's in New Jersey. I'm not going. It's just... I looked at the prices, and they're cheap. But it's not worth having to go sit through a John Moxley and Orange Cassidy match. No thank you. I'm okay on that. But I did go and look at StubHub, and even front row, like literally front row uh, on the good camera side was like 500 which considering how much you pay these days for WWE, that's really cheap. Even second row was like 230 which is crazy. The seats were not expensive, but at the same time, uh, it's a time thing. It's, I gotta go all the way to Prudential Center, and then just a lot of those matches I don't care about. So, I'm not going. But I'll watch it. I always do. But also, I did want to discuss a little bit here the reaction of wrestling fans to the Costco guys is not exactly... A warm welcome, which they sh they should have known that. Like, if you are a wrestling booker and you've done any study of wrestling history at all, you would know that uh, generally, 95% of the time, people who come in from outside of the wrestling business do not get a warm welcome into the wrestling business. Even if the guy was 20 years ago, was in the indies and whatever else. Like, it's not gonna work. Like, you could be a huge star and they're still not gonna care because you aren't in the wrestling business. So, that's just kind of how things go. Unfortunately, like, a few, a scant few exceptions to that rule. And yes, I watched every episode of the guest host era. So, I, I recall these things. When they had Bob Barker, wrestling fans, yes, all about it. When they had the freaking Muppets, yes, that worked. But most other guest hosts of that era did not work. It, w they don't care. Um, and yes, even when you have, all right, the SmackDown theme. 
is Meg Thee Stallion. And they're going to have the new Raw theme is going to be Travis Scott. Wrestling fans, not going to like it. But they, it's, it's, a, it's a weird bubble, and it always has been. So I'm not really surprised by that. So Tony Khan should not have been surprised if folks don't care about these guys from TikTok. It's just not how that works. So meanwhile, though, Giovanni Vinci here uh, can continue getting the perfect plex. And yeah, he is still too early on the health side Russian leg sweep. I don't want to lose. I've been uh, so far on Raw, undefeated. I am Mr. Money in the Bank. So I'd like to continue my winning ways, if at all possible, against Giovanni Vinci. That's the plan. Will it happen? Insiguri. Okay, okay, okay. We're here. We're there. We're everywhere. Teddy Long. No, Gunta. No, don't do a submission. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. One winged angel. One, two, three. That's how it should be. No one kicks out of that best bout machine business. And the slug remains undefeated on Monday night. Raw. My attitude, though, going down. Raw in fifth place. And SmackDown is still in first place. Triple H. You're running short on staff. You need an official. I suppose because it does pay me more than I'm getting paid currently for this business. And why the constant upside down briefcase? Oh, I, I have no idea. But sure. Like, I will fast count the first pinfall, and hey, some extra in my wallet, I could use that. Handicap match. It should go real... Oh, look at that. Bikingo, the champion, hmm, is here with Ricochet. So, a two-on-one affair. Who dares face these two incredible high flyers is the question. Ronda Rousey, what is this game sometimes? In the history of Reddit AMAs, went really poorly for her. So, kudos, I guess. Now then, ring the bell. Ding, 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 gloom. Here we go. Two on one against, that's hardly fair. Hardly fair. The roll up, how do I count? Nope. The moonsault, yeah, this is going to be a, just a quick, hopefully quick, Bit of action here, unless Rhonda just says, nah, I ain't selling for these little guys. I don't know. We'll see. But just hit a pinfall, and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully count quickly, and then hopefully not be in a feud with Rhonda Rousey if I can help it. Anyhow, ricochet to the outside? No. Not quite for Prince Puma. Do you submit, Rhonda Rousey? Do you Yield to Ricochet. Ronda Rousey powers out and right back into and powers out again. Wow. Okay. Look. The fight. Oh my god. On the shoulders. Burning hammer. One, two, three. It's over. Oh well. Ronda Rousey defeated in 143. Vikingo, who has an overall of a 96. And a ricochet on that winning team. Chris Bay and Ace Austin defeated Sin Cara and Julius Creed and won back those tag team titles. Scott Steiner heading to Ring of Honor. His freaks and his peaks. Matt Riddle's agility is down, bro. The Miz and Powerhouse Hobbs in New Japan are friends. Cool. Finn Balor and Nikki Cross are in a heated rivalry. Nick Jackson, who I injured, is back in the ring. 10 hours of sleep. I am 100% baby. And we have two nothing shows, which means we do some training. And we still have management expenses with no match on the card. Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker, leaves New Japan for AEW Art Imitates Life. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig makes his agility go up. Ziggler. Renews his deal here on Raw. Attack slug feels great today. No exposure though. I'm not being booked. Like, I don't have a choice there. Meanwhile, Lucha Libre Worldwide. What is the deal 
on offer. I am indeed Mr. Money in the Bank. I'm not that valuable, bro. If that's your attitude, then I don't want it. But, but, 4400 a week to go do some good lucha things. And I can't recall where they are on the ratings board. You know what? Just for a change of pace, uh, let's do it. Sorry, Money in the Bank. Let's go to Lucha Libre Worldwide. Of course, your friend, Kurt Hawkins, face the facts, is also welcome to join you. I'm good. He could stay. Meanwhile, Johnny Wrestling is glad to see me leave Raw. Now I am Lucha Libre Worldwide's problem. And immediately put into a tag team match. Playa, let's check the roster. They made me a tag team champion with a res. Didn't have to win it. They just made me a tag team champion. The GM here is indeed Carlito. That's cool. Hangman is here. As is Big Vis, Tommy Dreamer, Swerve's House, Kane Velasquez, Lady Shawnee, Kalisto, Fuego Del Sol. You got Phoenix. You got Roosh. Matt Jackson here. So I'm not free of the Jackson Brothers, unfortunately. R-Truth, that's what's up. Dr. Wagner Jr., L.A. Park, Ultimo Dragon, the Boogeyman is coming to get you. Loomis, Myers. Hey, Cody Rhodes is here. Book T, Penta, Bandito, Taya Valkyrie. All right, you know, not a bad roster. But I wanted to go look at the uh, database. All right, we are at number four in the ratings. So over Raw, I moved up, made more money, ditched Triple H, uh, and his management fees, hopefully. Uh, but again, the goal is to be champion on the top show. So, I am a champion on a show, which is not the goal. But, let's have one more match here for today on pay-per-view. Defending my newly handed to me paper champion type business tag team titles. Just champion out the gate. Who gonna stop me? Even though it is not the Lucha title, it's an AW title, but sure. Myers and Ultimo are the challengers. They brought him along as a friend, but he's challenging me for a title. That doesn't seem right, but what do I know? L.A. Park on commentary with Carlito. So, La Parca, the chairman, if you will. You have a very few real friends in this business. We are nothing less than a family, and we, together, will rule Lucha Libre worldwide. But why do our titles not match? Like, if clearly that title design is in the game, why don't they match up? Not to mention, Brian Myers waiting in the wings, who is just across the ring, which is weird. But sure, don't want to get DQ'd here. There we go. Face the facts. Here we are with the arm drag. And, yes, my tag team partner helped me out. That's right. Here we go. Next week, moveset changes. Can't wait. Pinfall. One. Two. That would have been hilarious. Just a kick to the face and you're done. Myers. One. Two. Three. Bro, that was so... Just within a hair. Within a hair. Nice belly-to-belly -belly overhead throw. Love that. Is this Lucha Rules where... No, it says, it says out, so... They should hopefully be getting out of the thing here. And that breaks it up for Ultimo because, of course, it does. But I ain't done with you yet, Myers. I'm trying to tell you, we're not friends. Like, I don't know who told you we were. But in the meanwhile, two and a two count. Here we go. To the ropes. Pop up. Power bomb. Count it, ref. Ref gets kicked. That's hilarious. Uh, look, the ref and the Boston Crab is real funny. But look, I need to win this matchup. I need to defend these tag team titles. Spine on the pine, if you will. Two, three, bro. Again, spine buster. Two, and still your world tag team champions in Lucha Libre Worldwide. And it looks like they did indeed pay Myers the same rate as they're paying me here, which is real funny. Number three in the world, Lucha Libre Worldwide. 
and my wages, 4,400, what, I'm sorry, even more than that, because the bonus pay-per-view. How are there still management fees? I didn't see Triple H anywhere. Yes, I made money, but I could have made even more than that if I didn't have that garbage management fee. Meanwhile, Carlito, sit in on commentary. I'm done recording today, Carlito. My voice is done. It's Friday. I'm done for the night. Wait, hold on. Why? What's with the Queen, Charlotte Flair, standing right? What? Wait. I'm very confused. Am I tag chance with Charlotte somehow with the same title? But I thought I was defending with Arez for the Lucha Libre Worldwide Tag Team Champion. This game is... Bro. It's not as broken as 2K, but boy, it's confusing. So, indeed, I am done for the night, though. So, Carlito, my apologies. But that's not cool. Oh, no choice. I guess I'm doing this. I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. Like, I don't care. Tommy! And his opponent is going to be the Boogeyman. And he's coming to get ya. Attack Slug joining me on commentary for his insights on this matchup. Who do you think will win this match? I'm going to vote for the Boogeyman. Now, what is nice about this is that I can simulate and Boogeyman wins. The, the real winner tonight is you, Attack Slug. Is it? Is it really though? Apparently Dreamer got himself DQ'd there. Don Callis released by ROH. Smackdown went down to 93%. And ROH now number one. Man, I was in ROH on a long-term contract. And if I had stayed there, yeah. Well, look, Jim Cornette, c call me. So yes, I suppose on Monday, teaming up as the AEW Tag Champs with Charlotte Flair for whatever weird reason, I don't... Bro, I don't get it. If I look at myself on the roster screen... It's me and Charlotte as Tag Team Champions. If I look at Arez, it's me and Arez as Tag Team Champions. Like, okay. Anyhow, I'm Attack Slug. See you next time, right here, for more videos, and I'm out.